open all doors. Faraday Future is a startup automaker introduced back in 2015, promising electric cars, a billion dollar factory, and autonomous technology. Its second vehicle, the FF91, is slated to be an all-electric, semi-autonomous luxury crossover limousine, but the company has struggled to put it into production over the last couple of years. For a while, the company ran on plenty of hype and investment through its founder, Chinese billionaire Jia Yutin, who also goes by YT. But starting in 2016, the company has experienced an unprecedented level of setbacks, including cash shortages, furloughs, layoffs, losing their billion dollar factory in Nevada, and the founder, Jia, can't even go back to his home country of China because the government there is investigating his finances. Jia stepped down as CEO of Faraday Future in September of 2019 and was replaced by Karsten Breitfeld, who himself was the CEO of another EV startup, Byton, but he left that company after the Chinese government got involved in its leadership. Faraday says it wants to disrupt the world of mobility and the car industry as a whole. But I'm wondering how they plan to accomplish this, as the FF91 has been ready for production for a number of years, but the company still needs hundreds of millions of dollars of investment to actually pull it off. In late 2019, even the US Department of Justice got involved, claiming the founder was dishonest on his bankruptcy filings. Despite these setbacks, the company's new CEO, Karsten Breitfeld, the man who gave us the BMW i8, is optimistic in the company's future. Like every startup company, you go through some bumps. Mm -hmm. Even the greatest companies in the world, like Apple, mm -hmm. had been through difficult times and, 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 and still became a very, 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 very great company. So this is normal. So the, the company is currently, I think, in like an investment phase? Yes. And, uh, and you're looking at production for the FF91 when? What's the time table? Correct. So we have this great product, FF91. It's a pre-production state right now. We call this Gamma Cars. And it will go to production uh, in not later than September next year. So the first car will be handed, to the, handed over to the customer before September of next year. Mm -hmm. um, there's a second product because this is a brand shaper. It's quite expensive, uh, low volume. There's a second product in the pipeline called FF81, much more affordable, a smaller version of it, will compete in the price range of a Tesla Model S today. Mm -hmm. And this one will be pre-production state by end of next year as well. And we are uh, kicking off a B, our b round fundraising right now and the overall amount we are looking for is something around $850 million to, to make those two programs work. Whether Faraday Future can deliver on these dates remains to be seen. They hope to get the FF91 in production by the end of 2018, but obviously that didn't happen. I will say I was surprised by the FF91 prototype that we got to ride in. It has everything you would expect from an electric car. Exciting performance, fast acceleration, it handled extremely well, but you could really tell that this is a company that has had a lot of time sort of sitting around to iron out every aspect of the powertrain of this car. Wow. Is that, um, is the sort of mechanical noise we're hearing, is that engineered or is that just a natural, like just the noise the vehicle makes? It's just natural. Yeah. I mean, there's still like obviously some early NVH uh, like development work that we're, we're sure. still working on. I, I actually, I encourage as much mechanical noise as possible. The FF91 also features an impressive suite of technology on the inside. A lot of companies say that they want their car to feel like an app. And what Faraday has developed is actually an app that connects all of your internet experiences through your computer and your phone through their own Faraday app that then connects to the car. The FF91 also features impressive technology on the interior, which Faraday's representatives were more than happy to explain to us. Imagine this is your car and uh, you have a driver, potentially. Uh, on this 27-inch uh, display, we can stream content uh, thanks to the uh, three 4G LTE modems mm -hmm. uh, that, that are built inside the car. To help you as an owner right. uh, to get the experience easier, we mirror the interface into your phone. Oh wow. Uh, so that you can just sit down, lay back, open your phone, and then boom, you can uh, start watching a video. We're, we're considering the car as a, a living room for, for a long time, but we're just missing that internet piece. Right. And we're, we're bridging those gaps. So like all of your playlists, all of your watch lists, like right. your, maybe you're like you're streaming your Netflix, all yes. of that stuff is supposed to sync over just automatically as you get in the car. Exactly. Through the FFID, essentially it's your account. Mm -hmm. uh, once you are recognized that we, we know this is uh, Justin, 
Yeah. And then the JSON content basically uh, shows up. Yeah, we have a vision uh, of the human machine interface in the future, and we think it's voice led. Uh, we like we like to think voice is the uh, the first interaction that when, when people come to, to visit uh, to interact with a car for, for a few reasons, right? Um, one of them is voice is really good at jumping steps and get stuff done uh, without you as a user uh, having to uh, navigate through. And secondly, in the car context, it also keeps things safe mm -hmm. uh, so that you, uh, you as a driver can keep eyes on the road. Uh, now, that there are three problems the current uh, uh, voice control system has inside the car. Uh, one of them is uh, the ability to understand natural languages. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this has a good reason. Until recently, the car hasn't been connected to the internet. It, it couldn't leverage the, the cloud processing to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, now with this car, uh, you know, with the modems that we have, we, we are able to do that. And second thing is contextual understanding. Uh, just as we humans speak to each other, we don't have to every time mention the context we're in because mm -hmm. we, we're kind of aware of where we are already. For, for a computer to do that, it, it takes some effort. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is complex query, Eric mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. uh, is when, for example, when we, when we talk to a uh, person and they give an order, sometimes we give orders in multiple intents. When things become complicated as a, a compound query uh, for the machine to understand that, it, it takes, it takes a, quite a bit of a, a computer engineering mm -hmm. to do. Find coffee shops in Santa Monica with outdoor seating and more than four stars. Here are several coffee shops with more than four stars near Santa Monica that have outdoor seating. Can I ask you honestly, how much of this is pre-programmed, like that query and all of this, uh, like for Showcar? This, this is a working software. Okay, this so is a working software. That so query like yeah. went through a, a whole process and then it actually produced results. Exactly. Can you do me a favor and just do another query? Sure. Um, maybe like take me to the closest in and out or something. Find me the closest in and out. Showing five results matching in and out burgers sorted by distance. Beautiful. The biggest takeaway from our visit to Faraday Future was that this is a real company and they do have a passionate team of engineers and designers working on some very impressive technology. But it almost doesn't matter right now. Despite retaining a dedicated team of engineers and designers who are working on all this impressive technology, and despite the fact that the FF91 has been ready for production for over a year now, the company still needs investment. But after billions of dollars of previous investment and a founder who still has to leverage his ownership in Faraday to pay off his creditors in numerous lawsuits, it's unlikely that any new investment is gonna come anytime soon.